Man, this is great right now. Wait, I want to see what I am. Hold up. Oh, I can't. I want to see what level I am right now. If I get past level 40, then I'm pretty sure I might have a, like a knife with blue eyes. I'm not sure. They come all at once, and it's really hard. No, that sounds so wrong. No, 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 no. All the zombies come at once, and it's very difficult to kill them. There. Tell me if you want another Rubik's Cube video because I, I have a couple tricks with the Rubik's Cube that, that are pretty cool and really helpful for you guys. So any of you guys that want to see more Rubik's Cube videos, just tell me down in the comments down below, man. I'll, I'll be happy to make them for you. All right, round 35, man. 35, bruh. Dang it. I just got a max ammo. Got. Uh, bruh, 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 bruh. I think $255,900. Nah. Yeah, but like, not cents. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying it like that, but. Bro, I'm gonna try to get a goal, keep them away from me. Dude, I hate it. Like, girls at my school, goals. You guys are goals. You know? It's a pretty sad story, but. There's a kid uh, named Kevin. I used to go to Vista Elementary, but now I don't. I go to, but I go to middle school now. But Vista was an elementary school, and uh, there was a kid there named Kevin McKee. He was in eighth grade. No, 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 my bad. He was in uh, well, he was a a grade, one grade up. Okay, and I was there from kindergarten to third grade. And there was this thing called the after school club where if your parents couldn't come pick you up at a certain time, then you would go to the after school club. Every day at the after school club, we'd go behind the handball courts. I, no, I, I would be behind the handball courts and play with my friends. But there's two sides for the little kids and the big kids, and the little kids were on the, the other side. So, you know, he, I would go to the other side with the little kids because I was tiny at that time. And he would, even though he was a grade before me, he would still come to the little kid's side. He would bully me. He'd push me, call me names, all of that. Good. I, I don't, I'm not going to say all that good stuff because it's not good. But all that bad stuff and then I totally forgot about him from fourth grade to sixth grade from fourth grade to fifth grade and then I went into middle school he went to a different middle school right now he's in eighth grade he's at Valley View and anyway um I totally forgot about him I met this girl named Allie and uh, she was the most beautiful girl I've ever seen she was the hottest girl I've ever seen actually I take that back but she's the hottest girl I've ever seen and uh, one day after sixth period, I I asked her out and she said yes, and we were dating for like two months. It was about it was about to be three, but then we broke up. Um, she starts dating a, a kid, and um, we break up. But while we were dating, I knew this kid. I knew Kevin, and out of all the kids that I could have known, Kevin was a friend of Alan, the bully. My childhood bully was a friend. Of my girlfriend and he always brought her flowers you know even though we went to a different school he'd bring her flowers and he said he loved her while we were dating and she he would try so hard to get her but she would he she would reject him all the time she said she never liked him and she never would like him so then we break up two days later she says she has feelings for Kevin and I'm like whoa 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 wait wait what you have feelings for Kevin? I thought you said you didn't, and she's like, "Yeah, I didn't. Now I do." And I'm like, "Bro, bro, bro, no, 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 no. You could date anyone you want. I'm, I'm not dating any. I'm not dating you anymore. So you could date anyone you want. And I'm about to die right now. I'm like, you could date anyone you want. Just don't let it be Kevin. Anybody but Kevin." She starts dating Kevin, right? And I'm thinking to myself, "Are you serious? My childhood pulley." It's my ex. And when I was dating Allie, it, I was wearing a jacket in the morning. I see her, I hug her, and I see her holding her like shoulders like she, no, not shoulders, but her arms like she's cold. And so I give her my jacket, and it's my all-star jacket for like the all-star soccer. When you make it into the all-star, that means like the more high elite people. It's my all-star jacket. After winning a tournament, it's the tournament jacket you get. And so I give it to her. 
I say keep it. And anytime you get cold, just put on that jacket. It'll remind you of me. Then the other day, she gave it back to me because we're not dating anymore. And I just, I was thinking to myself, so sad. And when I used to hold Allie at school, I used to hold her and I like, I brought her in and I like, like it was impossible not to smell her. Like her, she smelled really good. But like, I didn't try to smell her, but you could anyway. So you know, I, I, I smelled her and she smells amazing. She gives me back the jacket and I like put it close to me. Like I, I will never forget this memory. And when I pull it close to me, I smell the jacket and it smells just like her. So she wore it every single day. And uh, how do I put this? Um, when when we when me and Allie broke up, she she was wearing that jacket when me and her broke up. So that was even more sad, you know. Um, but anyway. Anyway, it smelled just like her now, like, this This may sound like super weird or something, but honestly, I don't want to ever wash it. I just, it just reminds me of her and it makes me all sad. But, you know, whatever, I'm fine, man. It's the hardest breakup ever. That's the, she was the best girlfriend I've ever had right now. Like, literally, I, but I just want to, I just want to get her back, um, I just want to have her in my life again. She says we could be friends, and yeah, I, I want to be friends with her, but deep down inside, I just want to be more than friends with her. Like, I want to be closer than her. I want to be closer to her than just friends, okay? I don't want to be just friends with her. Honestly, I just, I want to be more than friends with her, and it's gonna be hard because Kevin, while we, me and Ali were dating, he said, I'm going to steal her from you. And I said, no, you're not. He did. He stole her from me. He was right. And uh, that sucks. But, you know, at school, since he doesn't go to our school, we were sitting next to each other. And uh, my best friend, Freddie, dates Allie's cousin, America. Like, So that's not how me and Freddie met. We met on the second day of school. But that's when I realized that in the middle of the school year, I started dating Allie, and Allie's cousin was America, and and America was dating my best friend. So America tried to get us to talk, and like every time I like at school, I'm always um, hyped up. I have a lot of energy, but after she broke up with me, it was during Thanksgiving break, and on Monday, the first day we came back, I wasn't talking, I wasn't eating. Like I usually get in trouble during class for talking, but I wasn't talking at all. Just, I wasn't doing anything that I normally do, and everyone's like, well, dude, what's wrong with you? Like, why aren't you talking? Dude, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, man, okay, just don't worry about it, okay? Eventually, I'm sitting, like, we, we all go to a wall after lunch, like, not all of us, but, like, my group of friends. I just go to the wall before any of them, so nobody's there but me. And so we just go to the wall, and um, I'm sitting down at the wall. I don't usually stand, I don't usually sit there. But I just sat there, and I was just, like, I pulled my knees toward me, and I was just thinking about, like, Ali and Kevin together. Like, I fucking hate them. Like, I don't hate her, but I hate Kevin. Fucking steal her. And, uh, so then she tapped me on the, she tapped me on the shoulder, and she said, come with me. And I thought she was going to ask me out again, like, or say she liked me again, but nope no 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 she said are you okay and i said yeah i'm fine why i'm not fine of course i'm not fine what do you, what do you think you oh yeah yeah you were the best girlfriend i ever had you just broke up with me yeah i'm, I'm fine it's cool it's cool i'm fine i wasn't fine she's like okay why are you sitting down i was like what i can't sit down at the wall she's like you never sit down you you always play basketball I'm, oh, maybe i don't want to play basketball I'm, uh, my knees kind of hurt and she's like i know you're lying there's something going up with you She's acting clueless, but deep down inside, she knows why I'm sad. Like, honestly. Like, don't don't play that bullshit with me. And, uh, yeah, I said, yeah, I'm fine. And then she says, okay. So then the next day, not two days later, well, yesterday, on Wednesday, America says, you guys need to talk more ever since the breakup. You guys have never been talking. And there are two types of boyfriends. There's a boyfriend that when he gets his girlfriend in school, he never talks to her. I know that friend. It was Raymond, by the way. Never talked to any of his girlfriends. Now he does. He's a man now, but he never used to. 
I was the opposite of that. I was not shy to talk to Allie. I will come up to Allie's locker every day, hug her from behind, give her a kiss, and I would go on to class. Like, that was, I was fine with that. Like, I wasn't scared. But now, since our lockers are, like, super close to each other, now it's just awkward to be next to each other in the hallway. And she said, she told me, she's, she's texting me, and she says, honestly, in the hallway, when I see you in the hallway, I just want to make out with you and hold you, but I can't because I'm dating Kevin. And I said, oh, that's nice, but why, why, why don't you just break up with Kevin for me? And she said, because you like me and I'm dating Kevin. I'm not going to break up with Kevin because when we were dating, Kevin liked me, but I didn't break up with you for him. I was like, yeah, but I'm different. You guys never dated before. And she's like, yeah, true, but like, I can't just break up with Kevin and go for you. And I said, why not? And she says, because that would be wrong. And I said, Ali, we, me and you both know you've never, you, you have done something wrong in the past. And she's like, yeah, true, but so have you. And I said, yeah. But anyway, it's just like, I, it's really pissing me off. And she says, once I break up with Kevin, I will go and date you. And I said, okay. So, round 40, guys. Yeah. I'll continue storing in the next video. Bye.